All right, you take an exam with 90 questions. You get five points for a correct answer and lose two points for each incorrect answer. How many questions do you need to answer correctly to get a score of at least 310? So this one's kind of like a system of equations where we have the number of questions and the total points, at least the number of total points needed. Uh, the first one is in equality because there's only 90 questions. You have, uh, well, I guess we'll define these as X and Y. X can be correct answers and Y incorrect. So in other words, if I take X plus Y, it should just give us a total of 90 questions. Now on the other hand, the second equation is actually an inequality because we have a score of at least 310. So you get five points for every question you get correct. That's our X. But you lose, so we're going to subtract two points for every question you get wrong. And then your total needs to be at least, meaning it should be greater than or equal to that 310. So how is this helpful? Well, if we use substitution, we can solve this pretty easily. For example, and it doesn't matter which one I do this with, but if I change this equation to be y equals 90 minus x, whoops, let's change that to a minus x, uh, then I can replace this y with this expression here. So let's go ahead and rewrite that. And now when I solve this, inequality, then it will tell me the number of x, which is the number of correct questions that I got correctly. And that's actually all we're really searching for here is the number of correct questions. So let's continue this. We'll distribute this negative 2. So we got a negative 180 plus 2x, and the rest of it stays. And then I'll combine my x's. So I got 7x and I guess at the same time, if you wanted to, you could add 180 to both sides. So add 180. This must be greater than or equal to 490. That's quite convenient because now when I divide both sides by 7, I get x is greater than or equal to 70. So uh, it looks like the number of correct questions has to be greater than or equal to 70. Uh, which we could write as a sentence.